Hi. Let's see what we got over here. Toothpaste. Oh, travel size. Probably need some of that. <laughs> okay. Sir, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Sure, no problem. When you come to this pharmacy, questions are free. I'm traveling to Panama. Okay. Do you by chance know if there's any kind of things I should take? Sure. Let me show you some stuff. Sure, yeah. I'm Gino. I'm 51 years young, and I live in Canton, Michigan. You're going to need alcohol wipes. OK. Definitely some emodium. You know, that helps for the, uh, for the diarrhea. Oh, OK. I don't travel too often these days, so I'm looking to stock up on essential items because I'm about to embark on a very special trip. Um, do you have any lotion for couples? Um, let me take you some romantic stuff. OK. This is pretty good. What, what is this for? This is a, a lubricant if you're having sex. Oh, is that what? OK. Yeah. What is the warming? Oh, have you ever had like cinnamon on your tongue? You feel like warm? Oh, yeah. You're going to feel warm when you put it on. Oh, OK. Well, maybe I'll do the other one then. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, I, I'm a creature of habit. I like thinking things through before something happens. You know what I'm saying? OK. I really don't live a flashy lifestyle. I'm pretty conservative and stuff. I'm someone who enjoys the simple pleasures of life. Yeah, baby. I'm used to living on my own, but it hasn't always been this way. I've had a couple serious relationships in the past. My ex-wife is from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I worked in Brazil for six months as an engineer. We met around that time, and we knew we were in love and we wanted to be together. And so I brought her to the United States on a K-1 visa. But we lost that spark after seven years of marriage, and then we mutually agreed to file for a divorce. Going through a divorce was very difficult, and I did lose some hope that, you know, hey, well, am I ever going to find that right person to start a family? It's good stuff. But then earlier this year, I decided to look internationally on a dating site for love because I wasn't having much luck locally. And that's how I met my girlfriend, Jasmine, the love of my life. Jasmine is 34 and she lives in Panama City. She's an American lit teacher and she's one of the smartest girls I've ever been with. I got feelings for her right away, you know, like on the first day that we spoke. I wish you were here, baby. Good morning. Mm. She's got the best personality, funny, caring, intelligent. She's just the ultimate girl. Anything else you'd like? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She's beautiful face, beautiful eyes, um, beautiful butt, you know, hips, you name it. Mm. And to be honest, she's out of my league. But, you know, we've been talking for nine months, and she's like, uh, I think, my, my soulmate. And I haven't even met her yet. I can't wait any longer. So I bought a flight to see Jasmine next week over Christmas and New Year's, and I hope to return back to Michigan engaged. It's like Halloween. Oh, wait. My secret stash. Ta-da! These are the little blue pills. It can make you last longer. Where did you get those? Online. 
This stuff is good, I'm telling you, man. It gives you that extra pop and good times, good times. Jasmine is a very sexual person, it seems. How do you know? <laughs> we have shown each other naked on video and talked about the first night together. I've already trialed, trialed these, so I know they work. <laughs> like, wow, man, I mean, this stuff works. It's good. <laughs> it's been a few years since I've been with a woman sexually, and she is 17 years younger than me. So when I'm in Panama, I just want to make sure I can keep up, you know? I'm so excited to meet Jasmine finally, but I'm kind of disappointed that I'm going to miss my family this Christmas. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Jim, bambino. So my sister-in-law and brother are coming over, and we're going to exchange gifts. Oh, a little that? something for you. Oh, my god. What a beautiful table. I'm uh, about one year and three months older than Gino. Yeah, we're pretty close. You know, he's going to be going down to see Jasmine. Yeah, we're, uh, we're a little concerned. So are you nervous about going to Panama and meeting, or? Um, not really, because, you know, like, I've been talking to this girl for nine months now. She's seen you with, without your hat on. You can check out your <laughs> hair follicles, huh? Let's see what you look like under there. No, I'm not going to show you. <laughs> I started wearing a hat, now, I don't know how many years ago, because I, I have lost my hair over time. And when I don't have a hat on, I feel like, like I'm naked or something. Does she know about the bald head? Um, uh, she, she, she does. I think we have such a good bonding connection. You know, that the looks is like not such a big deal. Jasmine knows about my hair and stuff, or the hair I don't have. Uh, but in video chat, you know, I always had my hat because I prefer how I look with the hat on. So I, I, I'm packing three of my favorite hats, and I've already told her I'll be wearing my hat always, except when I'm sleeping. So we're going to be together 24-7. And then very likely I'm going to propose to her. And I know she wants to be with me, you know, because she wants to have a couple kids. And I agreed to it because I, I would like to have a couple kids, too. OK. So. I mean, you don't want to get her pregnant right away, right? I'm hoping that it happens on this trip with Jasmine. I'm ready for it. Does he know what he's doing? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's pretty smart. And he thinks he's got the one. But I mean, when you start talking about making little, little babies. At the age he's at, and they haven't even met each other, I just don't know what her plan is. I'm a little concerned about that. I don't know. It's just crazy. She's never even seen the back of your head. She's never even hold, held your hand. You never held her hand. You know, you're not sure what you're... What you're walking into. Yeah. I can understand my family's concerns about me meeting Jasmine and that we want to have kids. Because there's a lot you don't know about a person if you've only been speaking to them online. But. At 51 years old, I don't want to pass up what could be my last shot at true love and a family. <laughs>